Hi, and welcome to the design module training video. In this video, we'll show you just how easy it is to customize the look and feel of your new theme site. We'll start by logging into Agent Backdoor. Once you've logged in, simply scroll down and click on the design module. Here you'll see a number of available themes that you could use to customize your site. And we're consistently adding new themes that you'll have access to. Let's start with the bookmark theme. If I want to preview and get a feel for how this theme is going to look in more detail, I can simply click the preview button. This will open up in a new window, importing your content so you can see in real time what that particular theme is going to look like. So let's say I want to use the bookmark theme, but further customize that. I'll click on select theme. And the first thing what I'm going to do is I want to give this a user friendly name so I can go back and reference later. And now for right now, I'm just going to put bookmark dash test. Now I want to make sure all of my branding is here, my name, address, etc, etc. So I can put that, uh, fill in all that information under my branding. From here, I can choose whatever font style that I like. Let's use, uh, change the font up a little bit. And I've got two options. I can upload my logo and my header image. Now the beauty of Agent Backdoor is you don't have to worry about an optimal image size or anything like that. I'm going to use this image. And this image is purposely too large, but I wanted to use that so I can show you how Agent Backdoor will automatically recognize and resize that. And for the header image, again, I'm just going to select an image that I purchased on iStock Photo, which by the way is a great resource for uh, purchasing royalty-free imagery. And let's say I want to change the color as well. So instead of this uh, yellow color, I can simply click on that to uh, activate it. And let's go with uh, a little bit more of a, a blue color. Now, if I have any widgets, such as a widget from Altos Research or a Facebook fan page widget or anything like that, I've got the ability to simply paste that HTML code in this area. But we'll leave that blank for right now. After I've completed, I'll simply click on Save and give it a moment to upload. Now, it's probably going to take a little bit of a, a longer to upload because I've purposely used large images. Now, the first thing you'll notice is Agent Backdoor has alerted me that the logo is too large. But no problem, all I have to do is simply click on the Resize button and Agent Backdoor is automatically going to optimize that image to be the correct size. Now you'll notice in this particular theme, it requires a very landscape image. And I've uploaded something that, although it's landscape, is still not the correct aspect ratio. But I don't have to worry about Photoshop or anything like that. All I simply need to do is, in real time, just select the specific crop area that I want. And then when I'm happy with that particular crop, and I can see what it's going to look like by the real time preview, once I've completed that, I simply click Crop. And again, it's going to save an optimized version for me without me having to worry about resizing, Photoshop, cropping, anything like that. Once I've completed that, I'm going to click on Save. Now it's going to return me back to the Edit Theme page where I can make additional modifications if I want. But in this case, I'm simply going to click on Return the List because I'm happy with the modifications I've made so far. Now this is important. Just because you've selected a theme doesn't mean that the theme is automatically going to appear on the site. If I go back to the site, you'll notice that I still have the existing theme with the existing design. So what I need to do next is actually go in and activate that theme. In order to do that, I simply click on the Activate button. You'll know that it's the active theme because one, it'll be highlighted, and two, it'll have a star icon just to the left of the design name. From here, I can just simply access my website, hit Refresh, and see the updated design. So you can see just how quickly and easy it is to update the look and feel of your site. And remember, you could have multiple themes stored. So you can play around with additional themes and not have those activated. Preview those in real time and make adjustments before actually making it live to your site. I want to offer you one quick tip before you leave. You'll notice by the selected theme, I have the ability to duplicate that theme. This is good practice if you want to 
play around with a couple of design colors, but keep your main theme live on the site. Additionally, this is great for seasonal photography. Let's say you've got the theme exactly the way you want, and the only thing you want to make a modification of is the header image. Perhaps in the summer you want an image that represents the more of the summertime, or in the winter you want an image that represents more of the wintertime. In order to do this, I simply click Duplicate Theme. Again, I'm going to want to give that theme a name. It's important that I always name this theme for easy reference later. So in this case, I'm going to name this theme Winter. Again, I can just simply scroll down, and in my header image, I will replace the main image with whatever image I want. Again, go through the exact same process, hit Save, and you're done. Now in the winter, if I want to activate that theme, I can simply click on Activate. And then when spring rolls around, if I want the, the other theme, I simply click on Activate of the Spring theme. I hope this video has been helpful in showing you just how easy it is to customize your site. And if you have any questions, please let us know.